I think the Modern Combat franchise has uh, changed a lot in the past few years. When we started Modern Combat 4, we wanted to refresh the franchise, but we also wanted to keep what made it good. So we spent a lot of time uh, reading and listening to feedback. We really wanted to beef up the storyline and also we've decided to provide a multi-dimensional perspective. In other words, the player will be not only playing a US soldier, but also playing the villain, Edward Page. And there's many things that you will experience through this character. We also wanted to push the boundaries in terms of graphics and animation. All the animations have been redone uh, in motion capture. Visually, we enhance the amount of polygons on all the characters, the weapons, and we also used a technology called Craft to create some amazing uh, vehicle animations. Havoc Engine, ragdolls and uh, dynamic objects everywhere brings a lot more uh, randomness to the uh, gameplay experience. So each time you play, it, the experience will be uh, different. We've added a bunch of features. Uh, the first one is the tactical movement system. This new system allows the player to move around in the environment very easily. It kind of unleashes all the uh, frantic action that we wanted to, uh, to give to the player during the multiplayer or single player campaign. We try to create a big war feeling, open space, a large scale firefight. So there's always something happening on screen. So basically you're part of something much bigger. I think the gap between phones, tablets and consoles is getting smaller every day. We just tried to do the best, the biggest, the most immersive modern combat to date. No other game gives you an experience like that on a mobile platform.